Keeping an eye on education tonight, big changes are being tested for SAT scoring. As 7 Eyewitness News senior reporter Eileen Buckley tells us, it's an effort to level the playing field for all students. All right. I believe it's very important to make sure we incorporate other factors that may be associated to a student's education. Tamara Cross is wrapping up her second year at the University at Buffalo. She grew up on the city's east side and applauds the college board's changes to how it scores the SAT. Student scores will now include socioeconomic factors. But I had to work. I had other things to focus on other than education. So therefore, I believe it's very important to have those incorporated with your SAT scores. The adversity score uses a scale of 1 to 100 for disadvantaged students. Several factors will be calculated into the adversity score. That will include poverty and crime in a student's neighborhood, as well as the quality of their high school. But it doesn't appear this would apply for middle class students facing family adversity, such as a parent addicted to drugs. Nate Don Barnett is chair of the UB Graduate School of Education. I think the adversity index gives us a sense that student background matters. CES Buffalo provides tuition help for all Buffalo public school students. Executive Director David Rust says he hopes the new SAT scoring system will be an equity driver. So I think it's always smart to take a broader look at a student than just a standardized test score. So far, 50 colleges nationwide are using the new scoring system on a trial basis. 150 more are expected to be added this year for adversity scoring. Eileen Buckley, 7 Eyewitness News.